the question is identify the grade of vocation involvement shown in the color plate okay so in the color plate over here we have two molars one and two both of them have vocation involvement as we can see over here okay now there is definite bone loss in the furcation the diagnosis of furcation involvement is clinical and radiographic let's not forget that and the image over here is only clinical and it does not show the probing with a neighbor's probe okay you cannot see anything with the probe here they have not shown that so now the options here according to glickman's classification are grade 1 2 3 and 4 grade 1 and grade 4 are very severe forms so sev severe as in grade 1 is the least severe and grade 4 is the most severe so let's have a look at the classification system according to glickman first so grade 1 is that there is very minimal bone loss and that area is covered by bone uh, by soft tissue and bone and there is no radiographic change it has good bone covered by soft tissue grade 2 as we can see here it stops at one end the probe stops at an end this is called cul de sac lesion meaning this literally means that the tunnel has no end a tunnel with no end is called cul de sac so here there is some bony wall present and mostly there is horizontal bone loss the component is horizontal radiographic changes may or may not be seen in grade 3 vocation involvement the interradicular bone is missing and the probe will pass through and through which can be visualized easily on the radiograph and grade 4 is the most severe form of vocation where total bone loss which may or not may not be covered by soft tissue and also is radiographically evident coming back to the question we can see that the there is a frank defect over here that means the soft had it been a, class, a grade 2 it would be covered more with soft tissue and it would be difficult uh, to pass the probe through that kind of a lesion but here the amount of bone loss is quite severe it is not purely horizontal the bone loss is vertical plus horizontal so the most appropriate answer for this out of grade 2 and grade 3 would be grade 3 let's have a little detailed look of how a grade 3 vocation looks like i told you see this is similar to what was asked in the question these are all grade 3 vocations so this image is showing grade 3 vocation on maxillary molars and the probing would confirm that the buccal vocation connects with the distal vocation of the tooth Yeah, the vocation is filled with soft tissue. So clinically, it may be filled with soft tissue here, but probing would be the best way, and radiographic uh, changes would be the best way to confirm the diagnosis.